journal. Voyager Amazon system. All right, Bezos time. It is Bezos time. We gotta go to the Amazon system. All right, let's do it. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. Uh... A bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. Okay. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. Shouldn't a bomb disposal unit be sent for this? We don't have anyone trained in that. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. That's true. The Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. We'll get on it immediately. Well, fortunately we'll... for him, we're Maybe here we'll right now. So. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. Something we can Definitely take care not. of. Come on. Alright, fuck you then. We'll go around.
Okay, I guess that's all that was there. Oh, wait a minute. I was at the wrong thing. Hmm. Oh, something else. Man, look at this view. Crazy. almost didn't even see the body, man. I'm like, what the hell? The, the, the marker's here, but I don't see shit. nothing. I'm like, what? What is this? Alright, I guess that was nothing. Here we go with this view again. You can blow those up. That's cool. There ain't shit in them, though, huh? The fuck? All right, whatever. Let's let's get moving. The signals coming from a mine. This smells. I agree. The probe did not crash. Someone moved it here. There's a nuclear weapon down there. We can't abandon it. Just stay on guard. Right. Oh, wrong button. I mean, I think it should the the mission accomplished thing should have been a dead giveaway that that somebody was fucking with it. You know what I mean? I don't know why they sound so surprised, given the information we were told. thing is and we gotta keep going there we go 
Just screwed us. <coughs> Shepard, at last. Have we met? My name is Ilanos Halliot. I doubt you know it. I recognize that voice. The Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe. I don't study the internal politics of pirate bands. The strongest leads. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. You organized the attack on Elysium. Too bad we kicked your ass back into Terminus, huh? I was the motivator. The instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed! I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. An Alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, the oars here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. We'll find a way out of here. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Well, sorry. Goodbye, Shepard. Goodbye, you what bitch. What do we do now, Shepard? We find a way out. Someone up there needs my boot up his ass. <laughs> See if there's anything in here we can use. <laughs> Yeah, bitch. Fuck your bomb, homie. Let's get out of here. Let's kick this guy's ass, man. If he's even here. If he's not a coward and isn't somewhere else. Ah, that's what that was. I saw it earlier and I'm like, hmm. said escape and take down Halliot if possible where the hell is he or where would they be you know we just have to to the mercenary camp maybe oh yeah here we go this is where they are
Ooh, that shit hurts, man. I need cover, I need cover, I need cover. These guys need to give up, man. I killed their leader already. Time to get the hell out of here. Alright, we did what we needed to. That was fun. We killed him. And his cronies. All right. The Yang Yangtze system. I don't know where that is. Oh, in the Voyager cluster. Okay. Well, we're already here, so we can do that. That's just the next system over, man. We'll take care of that real quick. Take care of that problem real nice and easy, you know what I mean? Ain't no problem at all. This is where we have to go. Yeah, there's so many research facilities here. Come on.
All right, we're gonna go from here all the way up. We're just gonna go whoop, like that. Another pyramid up there. Damn turrets trying to take me down, man. Get out of here with that bullshit. We got here. Go for them headshots, baby. Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Shepard. Oh, I'm well aware. I am well aware. We got at least two more to do. This one wasn't so bad. Let's go take care of the other ones. Ha! Onward. Let's get the hell out of here. Like, what, what do you want me to do with this? Like, yes, it looks cool, but what do you want me to do? Oh, recover artifact, okay. Okay. Okay, man. Now we gotta go all the way over here. I wish that the minerals you can like, uh, you will, uh, you know, survey or farm or whatever you want to call it, like the one I'm going to right now. This one right here. I wish these were on the map, because they're not. Is this No Man's Sky? Yeah, it is. Where we, you know, we're, we're, you know, farming minerals and whatnot. Surveying and scanning planets. Watch, check this out, Hannah. Ready? We're gonna survey this uranium deposit. Look at that. Oh, we got some uranium. Oh, heck yeah, bud.
I do like me some No Man's Sky though, that is a fun game. I haven't played it in a hot minute, but it's one that I like to go back to every once in a while. Because I do have fun with it. Whoa, they're shooting at me? The bastards are shooting at me. We out here Tokyo drifting with this thing, man. Just dodging all the missiles and shit, man. We love to see it. All right, here we go again. We're gonna take down some more commandos or whatever. Guns free. Let's go. Weapons free, let's fuck them up. I wonder what Cerberus horrors will find at the next base. I wonder the same. I'm sure we'll find out though. I mean, we will find out soon enough. Okay, well, moving on to the last one. Go ahead and do that. No, I got stuck. All right, let's go. Run, run, open the door. Let's go. Get in that there vehicle, cause we gotta go to last research station. Let's go. All right. Oh man, is that some more farming, surveying thing I can get? Palladium. Oh, fuck. There you go. Got that. We're good to go. This is it. The final countdown. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Let's see what kind of monstrosities we find in here. Oh man, this is him. Dead. Oh, with those little fucking things, man.
Sally, please. Actually, hold up. Do that, and then you. Do that. To make Shepard. We owe Kohoku that much. R.I.P. Kohoku. Oh, goddess. It's Admiral Kohoku. Cerberus must have tracked him down. Yep. You lead. I'll follow. Ready. R.I.P. man. Man, we got more stuff. I didn't realize. I really haven't checked my weapons in a long time, because shit. Take that, why not? I had this many, this much shit. I mean, I guess I've, we've been looting a lot, but, like, man, I just did not know. Hey, that looks a lot better than what I had. No more of that camo bullshit, dude. Thank fuck for that. Hey, you look better in that too. Still have nothing for her though, man. Really? That's that's disappointing as hell, man. Let's get out of here. Which way is the exit? This way. Nope. Wrong buttons. Why, why do I keep pressing the wrong buttons? Yeah, I definitely dig this, this armor more than any of the other ones I've had besides the starting one. I just don't like camo armor. I'm sorry. Not a fan. Nefaron in the Columbia system.
fair on it is. I feel like I always have to bring Tally with me because she's the tech person. We always have to like decipher or you know uh hack into or you know do something like that. So I feel like it's always good to have her on the team. way. Get going now. Man, they just this game just loves having every planet be super damn terrainy with all these rocks and bullshit, huh? Love making your work get into your location. So unnecessary. To have every planet be so rocky and stuff. But... Because, I mean, every planet is basically the same. It's just, here's the snow one. Here's the volcanic one. Here's the dusty ass, you know, dirt ball one. They're all basically the same layout. You, dude. Out of here with that bullshit. We'll come back to that. I want to get all the other stuff before we do the main thing. All the side things before we go to the main thing. Whoever did that caught me off guard because that shit was just random as fuck. Hot dog and baloney. What? Oh, come on.
we're gonna hot dog and baloney the fuck out of here. Let's go. go. Let's check this facility out finally. Do a save here as well because I haven't done one in a while. You know, thank goodness for quick save, man. What a what a beautiful thing. Why do I have that equipped? Oh yes, I like that. Done, bitch. Get out of here. All right, what's next? Open door. Let's go over here first. It's the main objective is that way. Hey, look at this. We got a bunch of things to hack into. Let's go. I'm about it. At some point, I'm gonna have to really like look at my equipment and see what I want to keep and what I don't, because a lot of it is just not gonna be useful to me anymore. To me or my companions, but I gotta, you know, figure that out when we when we look into that. Currently have 250 items. You're needing the three. See, this is why. Yeah. There you go. That's another reason why. One, because I mean, I mean, yeah, they're just sitting there taking up space. So if they ain't gonna do me no good, then I might as well get something out of them, right? Yes, I understand game. I'm, I, 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 I know. 
You just you literally just told me. You still got a ways to go for 300 though. I mean 253 ain't 293, so chill game. This is something that I feel like I need to do, but I don't want to do it right now. We got, we got, we got things, stuff, and things to do, man. Come on now. If I'm forced to do it, then I'll do it. But Argos Hydra and the Argos Row system. Oh crap, of course I go the wrong way. What the fuck was that, dude? Uh, oh, what? Weird. Oh man. Let's have a. Let's see if we can talk to the companions again. Cause I don't know how often the dialogue, you know, choices update. But let's find out. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Guess we have new dialogue Actually, options now. I think I was talking about my interest in you. Oh. And making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Hey. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high strung. We don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit a hundred and fifty. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. Of a bully? You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. I mean, that's kind of true, though. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Hey, what's going on, Lim Lemon? Are you ripping her there, bud, or what's going on, eh? I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the council chose Back from grinding that spectrum. wow. Gotcha, gotcha. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity Yo, you has down to, to offer. Yo, you down to play I some en enlisted later or what? I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survived shows a remarkable strength. 
Why are you so interested in me? I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. <laughs> All right, man. No worries. We can always. We can always. You intrigue me, Shepard. Uh, you know. But I was not sure if it was. Do that some other day. It's all good. Feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Oh man, I. Williams and I are just friends. Nothing more. My mistake, then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that, too? Hey, Ashley, how's it going? I'm not interested in you in that way, Leon. This is very embarrassing for me, Commander. Please, let's talk about something else. Man, she's trying to get at me, bro, but I'm just like, uh, we, I don't even know you that well. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Again, I have no idea who to, who to romance in this game. I may not even romance anybody. I don't know, depending on how it goes. So far, there's been none of that, right? Eating some dinner? What's for dinner? Don't tell me it's pizza, Ashley, because everybody's eating pizza today, and I am very jealous. I had Josh come in here earlier say he ate pizza. I had Val come in here say she was going to eat pizza. It's like, man, today's pizza day, and I have none. Although, I might, I might, I might get some. I don't know. Man, it's just the, the commander. Good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen my Jackson? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. It is bake at home pizza. Up. Oh my I God! It is pizza day. day. Everybody's having pizza. Damn. Oh. I might have to get some. The 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 urge of, for the need for pizzas is strong. What happened? Why were you investigating? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless. It's been easy since I've been home sick the last couple of days. Ah, okay. Increase in the trade of body parts, organs mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. You've seen this before on the Citadel. Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market, but they're not as bad as the psychos. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs, had the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was... The match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. Okay. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. They got four... Four... Killing four today. balls, okay. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Yeah? Go on. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. 
These people weren't just Dr. Saleon's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. He was growing parts inside these people? That's disgusting. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. That sucks, man. Could you imagine that? And sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. That sucks, man. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess. But only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space. Can we take this dude down? Is that going to be an option? He was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties. The ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. But they wouldn't listen. Well, you can't get them all. No, but letting him get away like that. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from... Yeah, they could have just disabled it. That's a good point. Died. They don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone like that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, those hostages might be wishing they died by now anyway. Just wish. Kind of have an agreement with him, man. To be honest. Do you have any idea what happened to Doctor Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Doctor Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. Doctor Hart. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't no, Majin. I haven't. I have not. But uh, we're just having a conversation with him, and you know, he seems like a he seems I'll like a cool dude. But I don't get a chance. I don't know so why. I don't know why, Majin. Not, not, not yet, at least. If it's Leon, I want to be there when you find him. It, you know what I you know what it might be Majin? It might be just like the throughout the course of all three of the games, maybe? Because yeah, I don't know. Oh, before I go, you said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, sis. Tell me you didn't hear that. Your sister, I assume. Until I get home and kill her. That's Sarah, the youngest. <laughs> What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. Things were tense between Sarah Amazing. and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. Oh boy, Mike. Oh, Mikey boy. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Sounds like that situation didn't last. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and got him. didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing mom and dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years. Like a day's cruise. Only a dozen I light years. My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look. This, let me handle it. I need to do she, this she, alone. She can handle her business. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch oh, her. Oh, boy. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. 
I'm more or less a straight-up puncher. When he swung, she just... She wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was gonna end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. <laughs> and she hugged him. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? Dad always wanted to serve in space. But he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. Mm. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at a hundred meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. I never said Just that. What are you talking and about? This was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he should chill. Him, She's always so uh, like he had a dozen ready to scrap for, for some reason, man. Like chill. Just, 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 you know, just talking here. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. So behave. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Everyone has the right to believe what they want. It says so on the Alliance Charter. Only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people who are really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power. Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. What's your opinion on the last mission? Gotta admire those No! What's your no, opinion? No, no, no! I, I keep... Ah, oh, fuck. I keep doing that accidentally, man. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward I've heard to that one line enough times so, that I never want to hear it again in my life. Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job. Out near the edges of the terminus system. Why these people gotta, gotta uh, well keep important information away from me, man? Like, come on, dude. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Damn. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. 
but they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Yep. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Shit. So long, Rex. Shepard. That's crazy. Right, let's go talk to Tally real quick. Cause we've talked to everybody else already. Oh, hello, Shepard. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means I guess that an makes engine sense. died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like empty. The There's missing. so many people on it. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Right. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. Mm -hmm. I should go. See you later. All right. Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're going to want to hear this one. Oh, boy. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. If you know something about Cerberus, you'd better tell me. I suspect I know less about Cerberus than you do. I am merely an agent for the Shadow Broker. Oh, the Shadow See, Broker. Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus system. How do I know us. you're not lying, though? Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kohoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kohoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager cluster. Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. These are classified Alliance files. I'm not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Cerberus was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. You don't owe them any loyalty. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. No secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. What are you going to do with this information? 
Information is a commodity. It can be bought, sold, or traded. Why my employer desires this information is not my concern. I am only the buyer. My loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. That is unfortunate, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you Ooh, I didn't think of that. Price. I did not think of that. Oof, that, that might... That might have been an unfortunate thing I just did. Well... Oh well. I'll, I'll live with my choice. Argos Row Hydra. through. A general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Clinical system failure. Losing power. An emergency landing. Argos. Hmm. Communications failing. Life support. An emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. All right, so that's where we gotta go. Anything else I need to scan before we do go, though? Helium 3. Alright, off to the planet we go. Take this dude. He never. He never. I never have him around for uh, for anything. So I might as well bring him out over here. Oh, level two hazard. Oh man. Figured this guy would have a lot of uh, things to do. Put shit up here if it's such a bitch to get up. To where it is. Like why? Why do you why do you put stuff I don't know why I guess it's not up here, but you know. I mean I guess it kinda is, never mind. Yes, sir.
come on. signal. Cars will be all right. When have we not been all right? Hey, look at that pro strat, baby. Look at that. Ha ha. That flip though. Death! It's a trap! Oh well. That's not a problem. So that's all that was, was, it was just a trap, so whatever. Herschel system in the Kepler Verge. Yeah, 
guess this is where he is. He's got a ship. All right. All these test subjects. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Gladly. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No! Please! Please! <laughs> that was... satisfying. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. That's what I said. All right, we took care of business. See that whole thing like your skill level is too low. This is why I should, this is why I should always bring Tally with me everywhere, man. Cause like I'd have been able to do it if she was here. Look at this. Fuck that. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I get it, I get it. I have a ton of shit in my inventory, I understand. Alright, well, we're done here, so... Oh, bye.
So we'll have this to do next time. But let's save the game right now. The Normandy.